I can only describe as being the most epic sunset I had ever seen. We settled in for the night and we could see storms starting to roll in on the horizon and man what a light show. I didn't manage to get any footage but absolutely amazing and then it started to rain. Wow did it ever rain. Holy smokes. Such a beautiful sunset, such a beautiful day thunderstorms started rolling in started raining pretty decent not raining as as much right now but but uh, it was raining really heavy throughout the night so it'll be interesting to see what we wake up to in the morning dig easy morning rain was pretty intense at times last night lots of thunderstorms rolling through tons of lightning it was actually really really cool um, yeah, it was awesome. Kind of flooded the uh, the entry road a little bit over here, but uh, yeah, time for a coffee. Always makes things better. See you, buddy. See you, man. All right, they're taking off for Fort McMurray. We're gonna meet up with them a little bit later, and uh, up at Fort Mac and have some more adventure. With uh, coffee fully integrated into my system and a little bit of food to eat, uh, it was time to get going. So the next corner that we're going to hit is not the true northern corner. In order to get there, you've got to go into the Northwest Territories. And the Northwest Territories has their borders closed to all essential travel. If you go through, you have to self-isolate for seven days. Plus, the people in those communities do not want visitors right now. Fair enough. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from Fort McMurray North. And um, there's some rumors of some uh, sand roads up north. So that's about as far north as we can get without going all the way around and uh, leaving the province and then coming back into the province. So it makes more sense for right now, considering world conditions, just to go ahead and uh, go to the sand roads. So that's where we're off to today, Fort McMurray, then north to the Sun Roads. considered one of the most dangerous roads in uh, Canada and uh, um, beautiful areas but apparently there's been a lot of accidents we just actually passed a truck that uh, man it smoked a telephone pole did not look good but I think it's just you know maybe people falling asleep 
lot of high speed people. So I think, you know, all the factors put together, I think that could be what it is. A lot of big trucks. Um, but uh, yeah, wish us well. We're gonna, we're gonna stop in Fort Mac here soon. up in uh, Fort McMurray heading northward. Uh, we're going to make our way to the uh, sand roads. Uh, going to meet up with Jeremy first. He's going to join us and uh, come on up with us. We're probably going to camp up that way and uh, yeah, it's going to be fun guys. Once you're past the uh, the bridge to nowhere, the road goes down to gravel. And then, once it hits gravel, it eventually comes to an end. And then the sand road started. All right, made it. I've never seen someone so pumped in my fucking life. Oh man, life. he's just so jazzed, eh? He's just giving her. He Guys, we're on the sand road ever. and we're having a blast out here. Yeah. Check it out, sand as far as the eye can see. So we're going to continue to push on, see where we can get to and have some fun in this awesome sand. Anyways, wish you were here, guys. What you doing there, Dave? Oh, I'm airing down my tires, buddy. Oh, cool.
Stop myself for a while. <laughs> Got a little bit of water in the cab. Going on the sand roads up north, there's not a lot of help if you get into trouble. So we took a, an extra 20 liters with us just for recovery and, and whatever needs we needed it for. We all had a full tank when we started out. So the half tank rule was in place. As soon as the person who hit half tank first happened, that's basically where we turned around to come back and the 20 liters was kept for, like I said before, recovery. So that took us to just south of the Richardson Sand Dunes. So we're about two and a half hours in on the sand road. Man, epic. It is so wicked. Um, really good uh, wheeling. There's a few mud holes you got to do. Uh, but fun, fun, fun. Oh, man. So we stopped here. It's a place called Twin Lakes. We're going to camp overnight here. And oh, my God, it is so beautiful. Now. If you ever have the chance to come down here to Twin Lakes, highly recommend it, man. This is an amazing spot. So it's two lakes, one on each side of the road. And uh, basically, there's camping on the one side and there's camping here. This is the best spot. It's a little peninsula that comes out. Here, check this out, guys. Total minty camp spot, love it. The guys are setting up camp now. Man, this is an adventure of a lifetime. So blessed right now. Man, what an epic campsite. However, we weren't alone. As you can see, there is a beaver here that was sharing it with us. And if you listen closely, you can actually hear him chewing on the wood. Well, after setting up camp, we decided to cook dinner, <laughs> and it's a good thing Jeremy brought along his uh, screen tent because the sand flies were starting to come out in droves, so it was nice to have a little bit of respite from the sand flies. Amazing. Make sure you like and subscribe. The next episode, just when I thought we couldn't find any better campsites, we find one. It's at Island Lake. See you next time.